when it comes to the exam period, there will be some students who will start to ask me, Hey Jack, why is it that for the sample mean distribution, the parameter looks so weird? First of all, the mean of x bar is exactly the same as the mean of x, which means that the expectation of x is actually going to be exactly this. But for the variance of x bar, it is not just the variance of x. What is the variance of x? The variance of x, which is going to be sigma square, but the variance of x bar, the variance of the sample mean, is actually sigma square divided by n. And what exactly is this n? The best way for us to understand this is to actually just very quickly go back and revisit the derivation of the sample mean distribution. And let's try to get that done here in this video. First of all, we have to understand what exactly is x bar representing. x bar will represent the mean of n different samples of x. That means x bar is just simply going to be x1 plus x2 plus x3 all the way until xn divided by n. And if we were to be looking at a case where x, or this axis here, x follows a normal distribution with a mean of mu and a variance of sigma square. So please take note, we are not talking about the central limit theorem situation here, okay? So x here follows a normal distribution. And what we are doing here will be linear combination of different normal distribution, which will lead x bar to be a normal distribution. So x bar here will also be a normal distribution. And what we are going to try to find out next is what is the mean of x bar and what is the variance of x bar. So let's try. We want to find out what is the expectation of x bar. And again, what is x bar? x bar is x1 plus x2 plus x3 all the way until xn divided by n. 1 over n is a constant. I'm going to shift it out of the expectation notation which will be leaving us with an expectation of x1 plus x2 plus x3 all the way until xn. So we have a 1 over n here, and this can be simplified to n times the expectation of x. So this n and n can be cancelled. We are going to be left with just expectation of x. And what is expectation of x? Expectation of x is mu. That is why the expectation of x bar is mu. Now we can fill up this space here. Let's try to find out what is the variance, the variance of x bar. We want to understand why is it that there's this division by n thing going on for the variance of x bar. So the variance of x bar is the variance of x1 plus x2 plus x3 all the way until xn divided by n. Shifting this constant 1 over n out of the variance notation, it is going to be 1 over n square, which will be leaving us with a variance of x1 plus x2 plus x3 all the way until xn. Then here we have a 1 over n square, and this is n times the variance of x. So this n and n can be cancelled. We are going to be left with the variance of x, which is sigma square. So we are going to be left with a sigma square over n. And this explains why that the variance of x bar is a sigma square over n.